Derek Moore was born in Georgia and played three years in the NFL in the early 90s. But it wasn't until the days of Chan Gailey that his relationship with Tech began. And slowly, one epic pregame speech at a time, he's made a name for himself not only here on the flats, but across the country. To do anything great in life, to be anything great in life, I am convinced you can't do it without a whole lot of passion. You can't do this without emotion, excitement, a fire in your belly, and passion that jumps off your face. That's what makes this game great. I have never seen a Hall of Famer ever make it to the Hall of Fame without passion. Where did you acquire this knack for the quote unquote motivational speeches that you've become known for? Believe it or not, when I was at Northeastern in my senior year, Somehow, I, in one of our games, I was very excited about it. Of course, I was a player, and, and I just took the initiative to address the team in what was a big game for us at the IA level, but it was nonetheless a big game for us. And I began speaking to the team, and it's, it just caught fire. Uh, it was sort of started my journey in, uh, towards you know, speaking, and then that uh, began to graduate me into uh, public speaking. And then it was validated by others. You know, a lot of times you think you can do something, but until other people validate it, you really hadn't done anything. So uh, I began the speaking journey, and, and really I've made a career out of it. All I got for you, gentlemen, I just want somebody, where's one of our leaders, I don't care who it is, I got you. we know we're going to fight. Not gonna bring it up. You know this is an internal issue. We're gonna walk this briefcase to the sideline. The rest of the moments together, you think about everything you need to take to the office. It's time to clock in and go to work. Where do you come up with your material? <laughs> you know, some of it is, I would say most of it is usually done through the week. I'm at practice, of course, and I'm always listening to what Coach Johnson's got to say. He ends the practices with a few comments about um, the team. He, he would talk about the practice. Sometimes I get my, my data from the previous game, and then I'll rely on just my own natural intuition to tie it all together, where I hope it makes sense uh, once I'm, I'm ready to go and speak to the team. Derek's the guy that kind of gets his intense and fired up for the game, and. You know, my, personally, I've never been a much of a hype guy, but you just can't help but get kind of up, man, when he starts talking and gets going. So uh, everybody on the team loves him, man. He's very genuine with it and passionate, and it just kind of rubs off on everybody. You know what? This bunch right here is dark and as tough as that alley is. I want to dare you, challenge you, every one of you. If you want to walk through the alley tonight, walk through the dark alley. Get in line. Get in line right now. Get in line. Get in line. All right, so give us a couple of your favorite speeches from your standpoint since you started at Tech. Any that stick out? You know, I, I think I gave a speech uh, uh, years ago. We were preparing to play Clemson, and I, I think I spoke about, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, everything or nothing, and, uh, and it's everybody or no one. And I thought that resonated greatly uh, throughout the locker room. And I think uh, Tashar Choice was here at the time and he actually grabbed hold of that and further amplified. Get your hands in here, man. And I want you, hey, y'all know what time it is. Repeat after me, my everything. My everything. Or nothing. Or nothing. My everything. My everything. Or nothing. Or nothing. We gonna fight. We gonna fight. Until we can't fight no more. Until we can't fight no more. You know, I can say it, but it really takes off when the players really take it and buy into it. So. Uh, they do an even better job than I do of just embracing it and then sharing it. Is that the one where you brought the hammer in? That was the hammer. <laughs> that was the hammer. I think it, it was the one uh, that I usually don't bring it out until we absolutely have to have it. I remember the year we beat Clemson when they were uh, top ranked, one of the top ranked teams. He brought out the hammer and uh, he said, let me tell you about the hammer. <laughs> Samoa, Samoa. Samoa. Let me tell you about the hammer. You hear me, gentlemen? you something right now. The attitude of a hammer, of a sledgehammer. Listen, it ain't nothing nice about you hear me. And uh, I think the hammer was, I think the hammer was really over the years been the favorite of, of the fan base. They really enjoy when the hammer comes out. But as I've said, I don't bring it out unless we're absolutely desperate. Well, all these other, you've got several videos that have a lot of views, hundreds of thousands of views on, on uh, YouTube. This one from the Miami game has over a quarter million views. Does that surprise you? 
it is, Brandon, it's humbling and it's a, it really is a wow factor. Uh, it's a lot of people, <laughs> you know, and in a short period of time, I think that the Miami um, video has been out maybe a week or so, a week plus if I'm not mistaken, and quarter million uh, views, that's, that's astonishing. Uh, I don't always know, uh, I, I, I never know what that's going to, you know, translate to, but uh, obviously, you know, there are people out there that I think find it to be inspiring and encouraging and, uh, and certainly um, embrace that whole experience. So it, it blows me away. I never think that it's going to do what it's done, but, you know, there are folks out there, I guess, that do find it to be appealing. I know you take your job in impacting these young kids' lives very seriously, don't you? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's not taken for granted. You know, you're dealing with young, uh, impressionable uh, 18 to 21 year olds that are still going through the maturation stages of life. And every opportunity I get to support uh, the Institute, certainly, you know, Georgia Tech has been an incredible encouragement to me in giving me access to support our student athletes and uh, every single one of them irregardless of their status in the program they can be an all-american to the guy that just you know is just kind of on the team uh, they all have the same level of interest uh, from me and so uh, it's certainly every one of them is uh, them are, are really important